We're pretty cute, aren't we? This is my family, the day my little brother was adopted from Ethiopia. I'm the one with the short hair. Look a little different, don't I? Honestly, that day was the most excited I've ever been. I wanted to be a big sister more than anything in the world. And this perfect little boy came home one day and changed my life forever. Of course, perfect little, little bubbles of perfection don't last forever. But the challenges that arose were a little different than the ones we expected. As he grew up, there were differences in how my little brother interacted with people. So subtle at first, they were almost imperceptible. Funny little things, like how he wouldn't play games with me or look me in the eye. And as he got older, it became more obvious. My little brother was autistic. Honestly, when we got the diagnosis, it was a relief. So many resources were opened up for him. He was given amazing educators and therapists. I'm still in awe of the people that work with him, people that my family has had the privilege of getting to know and love. Yet, my story with autism started way before that day in 2005. When I was little, I went to a daycare run by an amazing man whose two kids both had autism. From the age of five months, I grew up with a best friend on Spectrum. So even though I saw the differences autism made, I just saw them as another aspect to my friend, like being a redhead or speaking English. Also, I saw the positive things that people with autism can do. This man's friend I'm talking about is an amazing artist. She can draw anything she uses by hand, and it comes out perfectly every time. Now, I'm not going to come in here and say autism is great. It's not. Every day I see the struggles of it. But at the same time, I see the positives. And that's what I want to talk about, the other side of autism. Nowadays in the US, most people have heard of autism, but not a lot of people really know what it is. The Merriam-Webster definition of autism is a condition or disorder that starts in childhood and causes problems in communication and forming relationships. Up front, the word disorder signals a negative connotation. Another negative word used is problems. This causes the pe people to think that people with autism are somehow inferior to typically developing people. I see looks on people's faces when I tell them my brother's autistic. They come over expecting to see someone who's completely diminished in every way and are incredibly surprised when they find out how high-functioning he is. Now, not everyone with autism is as high-functioning as he is, and it's taken a village to get him to where he is today. But not one of the many autistic people I know are in any way less than normal people. But sometimes people don't bother to learn this. I have a question for you. If you see an autistic child melting down in a public place, what do you do? I've experienced this with my brother before. This winter, when we were on vacation, he had a hard time at the beach. Between the noises of the other tourists and the bright sunlight and the new smells of the ocean, it was too much, and he freaked out. How do you think people reacted? Well, they weren't rude, but they weren't exactly compassionate either. The most common reaction was to look away, maybe take your family farther down the beach. Half an hour into the meltdown, a kind man came over and helped me. It took that long for someone to help. I think that was because they didn't understand what was going on. I think that if people thought of autism as a different way of viewing social interactions, maybe they'd think of my brother as someone who deserved their help. Those people on the beach that day, they didn't get the full story. They don't know that an hour later, he was over his worries and hugging his family. They don't know that three hours later, he was cracking a joke to one of his favorite 50s movies. They never got to see the bright parts of his personality, his astounding memory, his goofy sense of humor, or his obsession with Star Wars. I'm here today because the autistic people in my life have taught me not to judge them based on the idea they're simply disordered. It's easy to write someone off and ignore them, but doing that just puts someone in a box. I want people to stop thinking of autism as a set of deficits. That might be helpful for a diagnosis in a clinical setting, but in reality, it's just another way of thinking. It may create a harder path than a typically developing one, but it's not better or worse. So the next time you meet someone who's autistic, try to get to know them. Really listen to the things they have to say. You might realize they're more than what our preconceptions say they are. You might find out what makes that person special, and I guarantee you will be amazed. Thank you.